And we have live team coverage. KPIX 5's Jessica Flores is live in Santa Rosa tracking the impact the rain is having on the fire zones. But first, let's get right to Netta Iranpour in the Weather Center. Netta. Well, we certainly saw a lot of a heavy rainfall across those fire zones. I'll show you what's going on there and how much rain they got here in just a moment. But I want to show you the areas of the intense rain right now. Here it is, Sunset District, San Francisco, um, seeing a lot of this intensity, about a half inch of rain per hour. And we've been watching this over the past hour or so, getting more and more intense. So it looks like downtown San Francisco, Marina District, it is pretty soaking out there. And a lot of it's also moved further east. Walnut Creek now, Danville, Moraga, Orinda, heavy rain. Oakland as well saw about an inch and a half of rain so far overnight into these early morning hours. So the rain right now is probably the most intense, especially across the south. We go to Fremont there. You can see about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain per hour there. And it's really going to stay this way for the next couple hours. Until about noon, we'll see uh, continued rainfall across the south, and then we're going to see those rain total numbers increase um, over the next few hours. But then later on this afternoon, scattered showers. But you see a lot of that moisture coming in right off the water, and it's moving towards the land, of course, and that's why we're seeing those intense numbers. I want to take you now to the North Bay. It's calmed down a lot for St. Helena, Yountville, Sonoma as well, Santa Rosa. Not seeing that intense rainfall, but the totals are very impressive. Over three inches of rain for Venado, Santa Rosa, 1.9 inches. This is all rainfall totals that happened overnight, which of course is a big problem, especially where those fires have burned. Let's send it over now to Jessica Flores, who's joining us live from Santa Rosa. Jessica. Netta, we are in the Fountain Grove community here in Santa Rosa. This is one of those hard hit areas we've been talking about for weeks now. Now, the threat was of flooding, mudslides, and more sinkholes. Now, I just uh, had a uh, conversation with the assistant fire marshal who tells me that they've escaped the worst of that threat. Really, no major issues here overnight, but that was what they were prepping for. They've been laying down those waddles, those bundles of hay, also uh, some sandbags, trying to make sure to shore up. Hillsides also trying to filter out debris that could possibly make its way into storm drains and the water supply. They're using those waddles to filter out that debris. The fire also melted underground pipe, which has already led to one sinkhole in the Fountain Grove community. More than a dozen crews have been sending cameras through storm drains and have already identified 23 damaged areas. And now residents in the burn zone are bracing for a tough rainy season. This is the double punch. The land's so scorched here, there's no nothing to hold back the rains. And Napa County has also been preparing for the rainy season. They're giving out sandbags at their fire stations. Now, right now, there's definitely a, a steady rainfall, but it's not like it was overnight where it was really pounding the area. But of course, this will continue to be an issue in this area. So fire officials have already gone door to door. They've passed out flyers, especially in this Fountain Grove community, letting folks know of the risk, letting folks know of possible evacuations. But they do say that there won't be widespread evacuations. If there are any, it'll be to a specific area. Reporting live in Santa Rosa, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.